Hey everybody, this is Jocelyn Negrone from Jocelyn Negrone Studio. And today I'm going to do a very simple necklace editing tutorial in Photoshop. So this is our starting image and this is where we're going to end up. So let's get started. I took this photo. It's got a very even gray background. Um, first, we're going to crop the image. We're going to use a square using this drop down menu so you'll get these different ratios and um, we'll choose square because maybe we'll post it on Instagram later. Uh, we're just going to center up the necklace, dragging these points in, dragging up, just making sure that it's centered and uh, using those guidelines to make sure that they're pretty centered and you can use your cursor, your arrows to get it just right. Looks good. Go ahead and uh, keep that check, delete cropped pixels because there's nothing important in the background. So we can go ahead and delete that. It's gonna put this on a background layer. I'm going to double click that to put it on a regular layer so that when we cut all of the gray out, it's gonna be on a transparent background. So using your um, magic wand tool, you're gonna click the gray areas, and because my uh, image was shot very evenly, um, it is selecting all of that uh, gray area using Tolerance 15. And um, we're going to uh, smooth that out so that the edges of it aren't fringy. Um, it'll make it look more natural. Uh, smooth by three pixels, and then uh, Command X to cut that out and you'll see now it's on a transparent background. Uh, we're gonna get inside the chain in just a second, but to work a little bit um, more clean, make a new layer, drag it down underneath the necklace layer, and we're gonna fill it with white. If this square is white underneath here, we can just hit Command Delete and it'll make that white. Another way to do that is um, Edit, Fill, White at 100% and hit OK. Make sure you click that necklace layer again because now we're going to work on the chain and get all these little holes out. So again, I'm using a tolerance of 15 to get inside this chain here. And um, I'll show you if you use a lower tolerance, it's going to get less of that green, gray, sorry. Um, see how it doesn't quite get everything. So let's go back up to 15 so it will get more of that gray area. Zoom out and you just keep going. And yes, this is very tedious, but I happen to like tedious work. Um, I'm sure there's a faster way to do this. If you know it, let me know. Sometimes people ask, well, you know, why can't I get it completely white in camera? That's virtually impossible. When you are taking a photo of jewelry, you're taking a photo so that the jewelry looks the best that it can, not the background, because you're always going to need to cut out that background anyways. It's nearly impossible to get a completely pure white background in camera while not blowing out or overexposing the jewelry. So shoot for the jewelry and then you edit later. This is how all the pros do it. So, oh. Uh, undo. If you grab something that you didn't want to grab, just hit undo, but make sure you're holding down the shift key the whole time so that you're keeping all of that area selected. It's nice to work in chunks like I did. Did the background, smoothed it out, cut it out. I did the left side of the chain. Well, doing all of the chain. I'm going to select it all smooth it out and then we're going to cut it out just so that you do, don't do all this selecting and then mess up somewhere and have to start all over again. Um, other items of jewelry, um, if you have more of a shadow, if you shot the piece laying down on a surface, you might have a shadow so therefore you might need to use the pen tool but um, maybe we'll use the pen tool in a different tutorial. Smooth, three pixels is good. Cut that out. All right. So this is a relatively simple.
simple, I'd say very simple necklace to edit. Um, but this is this is what we got. Um, this is a matte finish necklace, um, so it looks a little bit grainy, but that's just how the surface is. Um, we're going to clean up all these little imperfections by using the um, spot healing brush tool. And uh, you can increase the size of the circle or decrease the size of the circle by using your bracket, right bracket to make it bigger, left bracket to make it smaller. And then you're just going to tap on the area that you want to touch up a little bit. So this one isn't too bad. To brighten up these diamonds, um, a trick is to use this sharpen tool just a little bit. It's going to kind of consolidate the pixels and um, make it sharper, which will give a higher contrast and make them look brighter. Another way to brighten is to um, use the dodge tool right here, um, dodging the highlights. By exposure 30%, that should be pretty good. And then you're just going to tap on that area to make it a little bit brighter. Obviously, the higher this number, the brighter it'll get. Um, you'll see that my hardness here is set at 17%. I could have made it a little bit harder. And that would just um, make sure that the spread isn't going too far out. So it'll just concentrate that um, dodge exposure into a, a more consolidated area. So that looks pretty good. Uh, command zero will get you back to zero. So we cut out everything, we brighten up the diamonds. A way to see if you have really cut out everything and you don't have little gray marks on the corner is to go full screen by hitting F a few times. And I've set my preferences so that my background is completely white and you can just do that in preferences. Um, and that way you know that it is a pure white background. Um, hit escape or F another time to get back to this mode. Um, now we're going to work on the exposure and the coloring. So we're going to um, go to exposure, click on it. And I like to um, use my keyboard for all this stuff. Um, it's just a smarter way to work. Um, that looks pretty good to me. That looks good. And let's go ahead and increase the saturation, make it look a little bit richer. Hue saturation. Again, um, just using your um, up arrow to increase or decrease. That looks pretty good to me. And a way to go back and forth between what it was to uh, what it is now is to hit the eyeball. So it's very subtle, but that's on, that's off. That's on, let's go up a little bit more. To six, that looks pretty good to me. Um, so there you have it. I think that's it. This is um, where we want it to be. This is uh, where we want it to be, and this is where we are. So I think it looks pretty good. Um, that was a very basic tutorial. If you have any questions, just let me know. If you want to see more of this content or have any specific requests, just let me know. Um, give me a follow on Instagram at Jocelyn Negron Studio. Thanks.